Hi and welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how you create a favicon. Now if you don't know what a favicon is, uh, you can see it right here. This is a favicon. It uh, appears on the left side of each of your tabs in your browser and it also appears up here in this uh, search box. Um, it will also show up in places uh, like your favorites. When you favorite a site, uh, you'll get a nice favicon. Uh, so it's nice to have on all of your pages and you can put a little emblem for your website in there something that symbolizes it. Um, so to get started what we're going to do is we're going to open up Photoshop and we're going to create the favicon. So you're going to want to do file new and create a 16 pixel by 16 pixel uh, document. And I'm just going to click OK. Now it's pretty small here so I'm going to zoom in. And so now I'm at 300 um, percent. A little bit more so you guys can see it. Um, what we're going to do is uh, first we can just add like a gradient here. I have some already blue colors selected here. It's just uh, some blue colors, a dark blue to a light blue. And so I'm just going to hold shift and drag down. And now we have a gradient. That's good. Um, now let's put a symbol on there. So let's just grab our, uh, our custom shape tool here. And um, if you don't have all these shapes, you can uh, click this little flat menu and click all and it'll ask you to replace them all and you can click OK. Um, let's just do, let's do a star here. How about this filled in star? So what we're going to do is hold shift. We're just going to drag it out and if you want to position it you can hold space bar while you're doing that. I'm just going to keep uh, sizing it here. That looks good. So we'll let that go. Let's see what we got. Um, that looks pretty good. Now it just looks fuzzy. So, I mean, it doesn't look good right now, but if we put it back out at 100%, we have a nice little star there. I mean, you can add pretty much whatever you want into it, um, but it's going to be kind of hard for you guys to see unless I zoom in, but now it's blurry. Um, so if we do File Save, we're going to do Save for Web and Devices, and this brings up this box here. Let me minimize this a little. Anyway, um, we're going to save it as a or as a uh, PNG uh, 24 document and you see it here uh, you can leave transparency on uh, any other settings you want and then just click save so it's going to prompt you to save it somewhere I'm going to save it in the images of my uh, website and we're just going to call it star favicon there we go save alright so we're done in Photoshop for now let's pull up Dreamweaver and now what we're going to do is, well first actually we need to convert that into an icon uh, file because Photoshop unfortunately cannot save it as an icon file yet, um, even the newest version. Uh, so you need to use an, a, uh, a converter to do that. You can download one or you can use this free one. Uh, I'm on convertico.com. So what uh, we're going to do is just browse for that file. So I have it on in here, get that for us. Go to images, and we're just gonna search. Actually, let's just go to star. La la la, and star favicon. So we're gonna open that, convert it, and then it just gives you this little thing that says "click here to download." And you're gonna right click and choose save a save target as. So we're gonna go to save target as, and we'll call it star star favicon and we'll save it to the desktop for now and close so now we're done with that now we can use Dreamweaver um, we're going to create a new HTML document and we're gonna go to the code so now what we need to do is go into our head tag you can just put it underneath the title whatever you want to do um, and we're going to type uh, open bracket then link and then rel and then equals quotes and then shortcut space icon oops icon end quotes and then space href and this is gonna uh, this is where we put in we're gonna put equals and then we're gonna put in where our image is um, so I'm gonna move it to the images folder of my website right now it's on the desktop but um, when I have it on the website it's going to be images slash star favicon dot ICL and make sure you put the file type because we have a PNG and an ICO um, and then an end quote and 
an end bracket. And we don't actually need this. I just put it in there, but we don't actually need that. So now that's this is all you need. You need to have that on uh, each of your web pages. So if you're using a template, that'll be pretty easy. Just put it on the template. And if not, then it's going to suck a little bit. But otherwise, you have that, and you should see it on your website. Uh, so I'm going to pause the video and upload that, and I'll show you when it's done. As you can see, I uploaded the necessary files. Uh, I uploaded both the HTML file, which I saved as uh, Favicon Demo, and also the ICO file, which I put into my images folder, which is where we referenced it from. And as you can see here, our little star Favicon is in the corner, like it's supposed to be. Um, so have fun uh, adding Favicons to your site. Um, it's kind of a small space, but you can kind of get creative with it if you, uh, if you want to. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And if you want any of the project files or you just want to check out my other videos and stuff, um, you can go to rivercitygraphics.com and it, all the stuff will be there. Thanks.